The Queen and other wealthy landowners stand to lose a lot of money if plans to change Europe's agriculture policy are accepted. The European Commission wants a limit on the amount of subsidy given to the biggest farmers. It's seen as a crucial test for reforming the widely criticised common agricultural policy. Ministers say they're opposed to the plan, as Mark Mardell reports. Like manna from heaven, the straw falls upon slightly surprised cows. Farmers, on the other hand, are used to being showered with cash from the European Union. But the Commission wants to stop the richest ones getting so much money. Take Manydown Farm in Hampshire. A typical farm of this size, 3,000 acres, would get around a quarter of a million pounds in EU grants. The main beneficiary, a trust fund for the descendants of a Victorian millionaire. But the man who actually runs the farm, Richard Sterling, is very keen on one of the EU's big priorities, looking after the environment. This hedgerow is a home to birds and animals. He says if the money is cut, some will abandon all that. If their income is limited, then it is questionable in my mind just how much they will be able to have to spend on some of the nice things that we'd like to do, which is field margin management, replanting, uh, hedgerows, uh, maintaining these old permanent pastures. It all costs money. This is the latest suggested reform for the much reviled common agricultural policy. It was once infamous for creating grain mountains and wine lakes because farmers got more money the more they produced, whether or not anyone wanted to buy it. Four years ago there was a radical overhaul. Money is now aimed at protecting the environment and is mostly paid on field size. So the richest do get the most cash. What would the proposed cuts mean? In 2005, the Queen got just over £465,000. That would be cut by around 140000 Prince Charles received more than 100000 That would be cut by just over £3,000. Outside the Queen's estate at Windsor, a former government special adviser tells me the money should only go to help the poorest farmers. Well, it does seem a bit ridiculous for uh, the monarch to be getting income support from Brussels and I think it makes it a lot, a lot harder for governments to justify the good bits of the common agricultural policy if there are so many glaring errors um, like this. Does the government sniff a popular plan? Well, no. Ministers declined to be interviewed but issued a statement saying they were strongly opposed to a limit because there's no clear link between wealth and the size of a farm. The caricature of greedy farmers snuffling for European Union subsidies is a common one and the Commission may have hit on a popular policy. But it raises a whole host of problems for an already troubled industry and the member countries may fight it. Mark Mardell, BBC News, Hampshire.